In this video, I'm going to talk about how in the heck someone gets crabs and what to do about it. Now, before I get started, down below there's this link where I'm giving away a super awesome video based guide on herbal medicine, supplements, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, crabs are tiny little insects that want to live off your blood. They're annoying. Think of a mosquito, except they don't fly away, they just continue to suck and suck. They make a home. Now you may think that the only way someone can get these crabs is through sexual contact. They are an STD, right? But that's not the case. It's actually very easy to get these bugs because, well, for starters, they can live one or two days away from your body. This means you can get them through toilet seats, uh, using towels, bed sheets, using different clothes, and even the beach. So they're easy to get. Even if you practice safe sex with condoms, you can get them. Now the easiest way to tell if you're contaminated is by itching. Now unlike a mosquito bite, this annoying itching usually occurs five days after you become contaminated. It's also good to know that they only, they only like to really build homes in pubic hairs, but they can also build home, your home, a home in your armpit, beards, your eyelashes, um, and that's it. So you might be wondering, hey, Kevin, what about your hair? Well, the cool thing about me, I have no hair. But they don't like your head hair, actually. I don't know why. Maybe it's too dense. They like finer hair, more, this more thin. Now, besides the itching, a person could get red spots or bumps where these bugs have a home. If you check your underwear, you see little blood marks. It could be an indicator of these uh, crabs. Now, the nastiest thing is the presence of dark powder on the skin or underwear. Do you have any idea what that is? Yeah, it's nasty. It's called poop. Crab droppings. I mean, uh, these guys are pooping on you. Talk about no respect. Lastly, some other signs could be blue spots on the, blue spots on the skin, and you might even see an adult crawl, crab crawling around, which is disgusting. Now, another thing which is fascinating about these little bugs is that they only appear, besides humans, they appear on apes. Now, what do you think? Do you think humans have came, come from apes? What's up with that? They only hate humans or something? Who knows, maybe thousands of years ago, humans killed the super queen crab and they all hate us. I don't know. So we're in a war, what do we do if you have them? First step would probably be to clean your bed sheets, clothes, and yeah, you gotta avoid the sexual contact. There's actually a very popular prescribed medicine called Lindane Shampoo, but there's some bad news. It's toxic to the nervous system and causes brain damage and harms the brain. Bad news. It's not good, but there's some other options for you too. Something called neem leaves can really help. Uh, the idea would be to crush the leaves and apply a little bit of water and then stick it to the where the infestation is and this will basically poison the little crab annoying insects uh, almost like using mustard gas during World War One. Another treatment option which you could use is something called calamine lotion you smother the bugs homes and allow it to dry and the little buggers will be all trapped like eh, I can't go anywhere and you just remove them easily so that's an option and I think we can all agree that there's a lot more natural options out there, herbs that you can take, that are much better than the drugs, which cost a lot and have all these nasty side effects. Now, if you're truly interested in alternative medicine and supplements and stuff, which you probably are, or who knows, maybe you're not. Um, but if you are, I highly, highly recommend a free video game based guide I created all about it. it talks about how to choose a, a good supplement over a crappy brand, herbal remedies, alternative medicines. And a much more nifty, awesome stuff. And the best thing is it's completely free. So you have no excuse not to at least look more into it. And you can check out more about this guide and learn more by simply clicking on the link below the video I made you. So click on that link, check it out. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video helped a couple people. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.